Have you heard black African king Mansa Musa was so rich that he broke the Egyptian economy twice. He was worth 248 billion pounds. He gave away gold on his way to Hajj to the people, broke their economy. Black police officers, should they, should they boycott the stop and search policies? Veteran, veteran, veteran activist Lee Jasper, also an ex-police officer, says they should. Also this week we have to say, well done Rio, well, well done Roberts, well done Anton kick out racism or football. They wouldn't wear them T-shirts. No way, no how. You can't put that on me. Alex, you can't tell me what to do with me. I'm a big grown man. If they meant it, they would have sacked John Terry, kicked him out, take away his captaincy. We'll be talking more about that on today's show. Have you heard... Rastaman Benjamin Zephaniah officially opened the Birmingham new exhibition about the city's history. £8.9 million. Pound. It's worth, I don't know why I mention that, why they always mention your money. But that's what Benjamin's done. Here's one for you. All immigrants offered free HIV tests. What are they saying? All immigrants in this country are poxed up. Cyrus, yeah, what they're saying, I'm just reading the news out. It's typical, it's topical. By the way, Jimmy Savile's a raving molester of dead bodies. We said it last week on the news, didn't we, people? If you want to tune in and know what's going on, stay tuned to the typical topical 93.2. Have you heard... New Bond girl Naomi Harris, Misha B. Have, uh, she's the one. Naomi Harris is a new black Bond girl. Misha B is a new black girl that's been working with Missy Elliott, also opening up for Nicki Minaj. And also, Rihanna's getting £5 million to open up the Christmas lights in Stratford. Brandy, remember Brandy? She's a flat face, big face girl. Not bad looking, but she's got a big head. She is, uh, her new album's been getting rave reviews. Ashley, I'm Not Black, Cole. He's related to Mariah, I'm a diva, Kari. Both mothers are linked up somewhere from Alabama. As I was saying last week on the Mobo, Labyrinth is also talking, what is... Ed Sheeran, Jesse J, got to do with music of black origin. What, 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 what? I hear a word, sell out! Sell out! Sell out! Yeah. Also this week in the news, three billion pound. That is the black pound note in England. You can't ignore it. When we're talking about the BBC, the ITV, and how they ignore it and how they do not want to recognise Virgin, recognise £56,000, whatever, since Mohammed Farah, Hussein, I'm too fast, Bolt, got involved in their advert, Virgin Broadband. Have you heard Pop Queen? This is from our other listeners, Britney Spears. She was licking crystal meth. Ooh, let me shave my head. Also, I'm a bald headed. They're going to take away the benefit for anybody who's got two children. Ian Duncan, I'm a, I'm a Smith. Filling the missing blanks, here we are. Have you heard's got quicker and faster? 
but so quick. Well, welcome to the typical topical show. It's Friday night. It's thank you, Mr. Gosling, for a great show. If you want to tune in, you want to phone in, the number's 0117-955-3721. It's typical, it's topical, it's always Afro-tropical. A we time no, a two hour. Are we ready to rock? Are we ready to roll? No, we're not. We don't play rock and we don't play rock and roll. It's bare reggae, hip hop. A music of black origin. And that's why you won't fear no Ed Sheeran or no Jesse J on this show. Plenty of shows that will play that and there's nothing wrong with that kind of music if you like that kind of music. But I don't understand why we have a MOBO's Black Awards ceremony and we give out awards to these people. Because you know what? This is 